Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the Mac Center, day one of the 2014 Mac Wrestling Championships in the books. Ty Linder, Matt Miller, Connor Whalen with you. For the Golden Flashes, a tough day, but still, at 157 pounds, Ian Miller, just as good as it gets. Just doing what we expected him to do, the top seed in the weight class. Two big wins, a, a pin in his yep. first match, and then another solid victory to advance to tomorrow's final, as expected. And there were maybe a question mark or two out there for him, Connor, just because of the, the injury he had earlier. Yeah, exactly. You know, he had that elbow injury, and he took care of business even when a couple people didn't quite step up, so a big day for him. Now, the Golden Flashes still have several other guys involved, but Miller will wrestle for a championship at 157. Some tough losses, Connor, in those early weights, but a guy like Mac McGuire able to come back and still keep himself in contention tomorrow. Yeah, an NCAA qualifier last year. He had a tough matchup in the first round. We talked about that a little bit against a kid from Missouri who's very good, but he came back, wrestled well in the second part of the tournament, and he'll be back tomorrow. Michael De Palma had a great first match. Then he kind of ran into a little bit of a buzzsaw wrestling the nation's number one guy. And uh, a tough loss for him, but uh, really expecting him to come back strong tomorrow in the semifinals. Yeah, he had a tough first period, gave up a five-point move. After that, wrestled him kind of even. Uh, tomorrow, that first matchup that he has will be the important one. He needs yep. to get uh, to that consolation final third-place match if he wants to advance to the NCAA championships. Right, and, and the Golden Flashes. Remember, 41 bids are on the line to the national tournament, but that's just the lowest possible number. There could always be more added to the big brackets after the tournament. You just don't want to leave that up to the committee. Caleb Marsh had a nice comeback match in that uh, first round consolation also for the Golden Flashes. Yeah, he did, and, and that's been big because the Flashes needed some team points right now, stuck in six, so that's big to move up is keeping guys alive in the tournament. Also in the upper weights, Cole Baxter, a good first match as the number four seed, ran into that number one, Phil Wellington. Yeah, you know, really thought he had a, a takedown, a reversal early, was in the match, but Wellington just too much down the stretch. Again, needs to go home, get some rest, get refocused, and try and get back into that third place match tomorrow. Well, that's really the key now is you have to completely wipe away the memories of day one and now going into day two. And if you're in the wrestlebacks, Connor, you have to really truly take it almost one period at a time from now on. Yeah, absolutely. And I thought a couple guys wrestled well today, like Cole Baxter, for instance, who I think is going to have a good chance to come back tomorrow and maybe get into that third and fourth place matchup. So guys like that who, who just ran into tough kids today. Yeah, and we do look forward to that 157-pound final as well. Yeah, I'll be really excited to see Ian Miller tomorrow. Really seems like he's on a mission. Had that elbow injury, is yep. back now. They were smart with him. They brought him along slowly, but... He's back out there and winning tomorrow another championship with within the conference would be big going into the NCAAs. A lot of momentum right. for him. It definitely would be. Well, action will come your way at a high noon. That's those consolation semifinal matches. The winners will wrestle for third. The losers have to wrestle for fifth. Then it is the conference championship matches coming your way in all 10 weight classes. For Matt Miller and Connor Whalen, I'm Ty Linder. Thank you so much for joining us from the Max Center at the 2014 Mid-American Conference Wrestling Championships. So long, everybody.